Hi, I'm Rob Hopkins from Transition Network and it's really hard now in 2020 to think back to 2016 and the real impact that actually the coming together of the bottom-up grassroots transition movement that was happening all across Belgium and the regional government and the enlightened support that, that the government gave to transition at that time had it was really remarkable, not just in Belgium, but in other places too. So for, for, for about 10 years up to that stage, this massive upsurge of transition in 50 countries around the world had been trying to work out what that would look like when an enlightened uh, government who wanted to really enable local communities to, to develop new economies, build resilience and so on, what would that look like? Well, in Belgium, in 2016, they cracked it. And the, the support that the regional government was able to give to transition groups unlocked so much. And now in 2020, across Belgium, we have fantastic examples of really resilient communities. The, the explosion of local independent businesses, artisan foods, uh, uh, local currencies, new economies that really flowered around that time, bringing in a whole new generation of entrepreneurs, creating community energy businesses, uh, food businesses, community-owned construction uh, enterprises, as well as the uh, giving communities the resources to enable those groups to work. You know, it, it, it didn't happen by magic. It happened because the community groups who were coming together had the expertise to run those groups properly, to run good meetings, to make sure that the whole thing really, really hung together. And now in 2020, we're seeing the fall in carbon emissions, being way more than anybody thought, particularly led by Belgium. The, the uptake of renewable energy, the explosion of uh, the amount of ground in our towns and cities uh, growing food, the number of new enterprises is so much more than anybody anticipated back in 2016 when that happened. And uh, you know there are many things that we can trace the, 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 the shift we see happening away from uh, power and, and economic influence being held by fewer and fewer people to being distributed to more and more people. You know, that we can attribute to all kinds of things, but I think one of the key tipping points over the last four years was the decision uh, in Belgium for local government to get behind supporting transition initiatives in the way that, that really, really works for them. So, um, personally speaking, from 2020, I feel so optimistic about, about what's happening, about where we're going, and, uh, and now certainly across the French-speaking world and further afield, Belgium is really an exemplar, a pioneer. People come from all over the world to come and get a taste of what a more resilient, localised, happy, uh, uh, nurturing, delicious culture looks like. It's there in Belgium, everyone can go and see it, and, uh, uh, and it's wonderful.